Robbie, let's go back to what must seem like quite a long time ago now, when you left Hearts for MK Dons. In a nutshell, why did you leave Hearts? Yeah, I think it was an opportunity to go down to England and, and go to a club that, that hoped to progress and we could take them a, a project over the next few years. And having spoken to the chairman there, you know, they had real potential, you know, the stadium and the, and the surrounding infrastructure of it as well. So it was a, a great opportunity um, to go down there. Had you been looking to leave Hearts? No, it was, you know, I had a couple of teams that had spoken to me and it just wasn't right. You know, and this one just felt right at the time. And, you know, I had a fantastic time at Hearts. It was nearly three years and it was a, a great learning curve and a great progression. But I just felt it was the right time to go and it was a good opportunity. I just, I felt it was the right club to go to, you know, and the way speaking to the chairman down there, Pete, you know, the club is really, really ambitious. It still is. You know, it's had a difficult period in the last three or four years, but the infrastructure's there. It just it just needs to, to take the next step, and I'd hoped that I'd be the one that would help them do it. The infrastructure's fantastic. You know, it's uh, it, it's it's a place that, that's still got a long way to go. I haven't seen that. I think until you're actually in a football club and you're in and you see the nuts and bolts of it, you don't see the distance that it's got to travel. So as soon as we get in there, we had to... It was a lot of work, you know, right away. The first few months, you know, we were kind of firefighting, as in they were, you know, in the relegation zone. We managed to get them up to the top half of the league. Um, and then there was a big turnaround of players in the summer because we, we had one of the oldest squads in the league, you know, guys that had been there for quite a long time and, you know, it was time to refresh. So there was a lot of work to get done. Um, and I think there still is down there. You know, although I've left, it's, it's still got a long way to go. I think it has got huge potential. It just it's going to take probably a bit longer than, than everyone would hope. It, it was probably the hardest thing for me to be honest with you going down there and just the intensity of the whole, you know, the football setup as well, you know, like the one of the third or fourth games we went down there and we played against a team away from home and we got beat one 0 and you know, there was players were clapping the fans and everyone was happy just because we kinda of clapped the fans and it was like it's try to build that intensity in a football club because I think you, you need that to put pressure on everyone to get success. So, yeah, it was it was a learning curve, that side of it as well. But, you know, the reason I went down is trying to progress myself, not just you know, career-wise, but as a person as well. And I think I definitely did that because it was a, an eye-opener, to say the least, at times. Do you think you've come back as a better coach? Oh, 100%, yeah. Better manager, better coach, because you're, you're dealing with things day to day that's totally different that I had to deal with at Hearts. You know, obviously, we, we didn't have director of football uh, down at Milton Keynes because... So then you then have to deal with different aspects, you know, the whole football club. So it was a it was a great learning curve. What went wrong? Ultimately, you know, you lost your job. So so what happened? Well, ultimately, the results weren't good enough. Mm -hmm. That was it, you know. So you have to take it in the chin as a manager. You know, we went down and we hoped there was going to be a we spoke about a three four year plan. You know, the first six months were a bit stability for the club. So we meant, we did that. We, we secured them in the league. We managed to finish top half. Second half, eh, sorry, second season in, probably, you know, recruitment-wise, we possibly too much of a turnaround in the players, you know, and the results didn't come, and the, the chairman decided he wanted to go down a different avenue. So, you know, it's part of football; it's a big learning curve for us all. What do you miss about Hearts? I miss the, the intensity of it. I miss the fan base, you know, and it's, that was one of the, the, the big things that I had to deal with down there. There wasn't that, you know, pressure on everyone, pressure on the players, pressure on the staff. Um, and that, that's what you miss. But look, it was it was a great experience. What is the future then for Robbie Nielsen? The future is to, to continue managing. You know, to continue try to progress myself and try to progress clubs and players. You know, I, I had a fantastic time at Hearts. The whole kind of three years I was there, I had a great time. The first six eight months at MK Dons. The last few months were difficult, but you know, you you have to have highs and lows in football. Like I said at the start, you can't can constantly go up the way. You know, but it's. Uh, I'm looking forward to the next kind of few.